Welcome back to Andrew Jean Cleaning. Today we are going to be cleaning our toilet, getting down in there. I'll show you here in a second. There's a lot of disgustiness happening in there without any scrubbing at all. At least that's the hope. We're going to do this toilet here and then we're going to head downstairs to my basement bathroom and do that toilet as well. I talk about I destroy my home so that you don't have to destroy yours. I'm only partly joking on that one. Okay, look at these streaks. Do you see that back in there? that no matter how much product you put on there and you scrub and you scrub and you scrub and you cannot get that out. I also have a whole video about rings and toilet rings in which I used a pumice stone, uh, which really helps, but the rings are still there. And then down in here, like that is so hard to get that disgustingness cleaned up. So this is what we're gonna be trying today. Now I caution you, what I'm about to show you, just be careful, okay? That's all I'll say about that. We've got some baking soda. And I just poured some in a cup here. This is about three-fourths a cup, not even completely full. And then I got some bleach. I got about a cup of bleach here. I like this Clorox splashless bleach because, well, it splashes less, which is really nice. So I'm going to mix these two in here. Now, you never want to mix bleach with vinegar, rubbing alcohol, or ammonia because it's going to produce chlorine gas, which could be muy mal, no bueno. So let's go ahead. We're going to pour some of this bleach down around the rim here. Try to get it up in there where all those streaks were. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the baking soda. I'm gonna sprinkle it. That's a little tricky. It's gonna be hard to get it all up in there, but you can see there's kind of a coating there. I guess what we'll see is if there's some places where the baking soda did not get We'll be able to see some lines from that as well. So we'll do this and then I'm gonna pour some down in here. See if I can get that spot. I'm gonna shut the lid and you wanna do this in a well ventilated area if you are going to try this. Do it at your own risk. I am going to shut the toilet. Let's head downstairs and do that one as well. One thing I wanna add here really quick, not a pumice stone. It looks like a pumice stone. It's called a scouring stick. <laughs> you don't want to pumice your feet with it. At least I wouldn't. Your tank. You want to clean this out every so often. I'm doing another video about how to clean this out because that really impacts what's coming down here into the bowl. So I'll link that video in the description box as well. Here we are downstairs. I'm just going to lift this up. Oh, let's see what we're working with down here. That's gross, you guys. Do you see? There's a lot more streaks down here. Look at that. Can I get you any closer? Oh yeah, see? Look at that, okay. I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. Let's go ahead. I have about another one cup of bleach here. i try to get this up here the best as I can. Okay. Then we're gonna add our baking soda. I don't mind the smell of bleach, um, but I would, again, turn on a fan or something. It's hard to get it up in there. Now again, we're not gonna scrub, so the results that we have are gonna be completely um, as a result of no scrubbing. So I could take my scrub brush after that's been sitting a little bit and really get in there, but I just wanna see what this is gonna look like. Okay, get some down in there. All right, we'll wait about 15 minutes. Shutting the lid, of course. All right, that's our 15 minute timer. Let's go in and see. Now there's no magic behind why I chose 15 minutes. I just, for me, that seemed like a reasonable amount of time if you're gonna try this when you're cleaning amongst other things. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay, I can already tell, and I haven't even flushed the toilet. Look down in there. You guys see how much better that is? Look at, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm excited. Let's just look around the rooms here. Okay, let's flush it, see what happens. Part one of the experiment. Oh, 
Let's give it one more flush. We still got some baking soda caked up there. But you guys, I can already tell. Do you see right around here where the combination of the baking soda and bleach was? Back up there, not looking so good. Right in here, I'm super impressed. Super impressed, and again, I would put my brush in there and I could not get that stuff up. Okay, let me flush it one more time. So it's looking a ton better over here where I got more of the product and the baking soda and the bleach. So that is good. These lines right here, I wonder if I took my brush. Maybe I'll do that at the end or right now and see if I just then took my brush and did it, if it would come up. It was hard to get the, the product up in there as you saw. But let's head downstairs really quick. Okay, I'm walking in down here. I will say, I don't have windows in this bathroom. I do have a vent, but it's quite potent, the smell. I'm just gonna take some of this here with the lid. Just feel better about this. Okay. Let's look down in there. Hmm. All right, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? It looks so much whiter. Wow, do you remember all of those pink streaks? Now you can still see the watermarks here. The initial pink is gone. The disgustingness down in the hole is gone. There's a streak right here that I don't think I'm gonna be able to get with my brush, so I would use my scouring stick on that. But I like it, you guys. I'm impressed with this combination. Again, I didn't do any scrubbing with the product on there, the baking soda and the bleach, so I would say if you have some really tough on stuff, I would give this a shot. Again, in a very well ventilated area and I would not mix bleach with anything else. You, you do not want to be mixing products. I'm just most excited about this part down in there that is so hard to get clean. The rest of this stuff in here, I have solutions for. All right, let me know what you think in the comment box below. Hit me up on Instagram at Andrew Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passion into profit and this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. Also, lots of goodies in the description box and I will see you, my friend in the next one.